Hey guys, it's me Krishni here. So, I'm starting this video looking so dry, looking so ugly because I am going to do whatever you guys suggest me to. So, I'm having a sari to take photo with and it's a blue sari but I haven't told you guys in my Instagram story yet but I let you guys to choose either this or that type of story and you guys choose quite a lot you guys chose something very opposite so I'm gonna bring you guys along and I'm gonna try my best to recreate whatever you guys suggest me to and also in this video I won't be talking while I'm doing my makeup because I'm going to do a voiceover over it so that it will be easier for me to explain so I hope you guys enjoy my voiceover and the makeup so let's get into it hey guys so first of all I'm applying my professional by benefits primer because this is my favorite primer because it helps so much with my pores so I apply it around my pores area and I'm tying my hair because it is very hard to do a makeup without tying my hair. So I'm using Lakme Red Lipstick to cover all my dark spots. Red lipsticks really help me with color correcting. Next, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte Polish Foundation for my skin. I like to apply it first on my skin before brushing it out with my big brush. Blam 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 blam. <laughs> Next, I'm using Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer by Maybelline to conceal and shape my face. Once again, blam 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 blam. I'm gonna use Sephora Loose Powder to lightly bake my face. Ta da! Okay, now let's do the brows. So, I'm using this Morphe Eyebrow Pencil. I'm not sure if it's original Morphe, but I got it as a free gift. So I always line my eyebrows and then I will just blend it with my spoolie. My eyebrow is kind of uneven because I haven't traded my eyebrows but worry not, I'm gonna conceal it. <laughs> Don't forget to blend your concealer, if not it looks so patchy. You are supposed to add on liquid highlighter before putting on your loose powder but I'm here putting it on now because I know it's late. So better late than never this liquid highlighter isn't very pigmented but it's okay i kind of like it and so i'm gonna brush out all the loose powder and i'm adding on more concealers on my eyes then i'm adding this shade from my fenty beauty palette on my crease and also this shade to really have that crease line next i'm adding the liquid highlighter to really Make sure all the eyeshadows stick because it's wet and also I'm cutting my crease using it. I'm not so good in cutting crease but yeah, I tried my best. I'm using this shade because you guys chose me to do this copper look so I'm trying my best. I'm adding this copper color eyeshadow from Sephora to really exaggerate that copper color on my eyes. I'm adding the brown shade under my eye. Because the model looked like she had a brown copper color under her eyes so I'm adding this color and I'm adding a little glitter underneath too in the end so I'm adding this eyeliner from Kat Von D which I love so much I'm gonna put a wings which is the most scariest part I hope it comes out symmetrically which kind of looks symmetrical Next, I'm going to use black waterline eyeliner because what's an Indian look without a waterline eyeliner? I'm going to blend that eyeliner with a brown eyeshadow to really give that smoky look under the eye. I'm going to use a mascara twist for volume by Art Deco. Really love this. I'm going to add my lens and put on some more mascara under my eye before I add on my falsies. I just received these eyelashes from Bryony Empire which is super beautiful. Oh my god. 
I love this how it really gives me the cat eye look and just look at that piece Ta -da! oh my god I'm in love Mwah. okay I'm adding on more mascara on my under eyelashes and on my falsies I'm gonna add on a blusher by Sephora which is my current favorite color I'll link everything down in the description box below of the item I've used and I'm gonna add this golden highlighter which I'm super in love because it match all brown skin adding it on my cheekbone on my eyebrows and on my eyes not forgetting the tip of the nose I'm lining my lips with the eyebrow pencil I use because I don't have a brown lip liner then I'm adding my favorite brownish lipstick just as a good i'm adding the same eyeshadow from sephora the copper eyeshadow on my lips Ta-da! something new okay not forgetting my bindi that's my daisy girl okay let's do our hair now so you guys chose me to do this hair which is the loose up do so first of all i'm teasing out all my hair and dividing my hair into two like half up half down and i'm tying the upper portion so that it would be easier for me to work with the down okay so now i'm just combing my down hair and tying it up in a ponytail and i'm gonna add on the bun the donut and i'm securing it with a bobby pin and now I'm just overlaying my hair on top of it and using a hair tie and securing my hair. And the excess hair, I'm just gonna pin it around the bun. This is my bun. So now I'm gonna take the upper hair little by little and twisting it like the hair that you guys chose. Because it didn't require any braid, which I am not good at. So I'm just choosing this hairstyle, which is easy to do once i twist it i twist that twisted hair around my donut my donut hair and securing it with a bobby pin adding another layer of ribbon so that it's perfectly secure done i couldn't really look at the back so i didn't know how it looked at the back so i'm just working with it i'm pulling little strands in order to make it looks like it's messy and then I'm adding this flower at around my bun because it looks super copper and it really matches my hair and now I'm curling my hair strands to make it look really beautiful and I am done so now let's go and get ready with my sari and my jewelries let go I'm in my favorite inner skirt by Hey Beautiful HQ. So go get yours now. And I've already pleated my sari. I had a whole video of that. So do check that out if you guys want to know how I pleat my sari and tie it. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a little on how I tie it. I pin around the waist in order to for the waist to look snitched. And beautiful and I'm taking little pleats around my sari because that makes your sari look way more beautiful and pleated I'm adding all the pleats in and done I'm gonna pin over my shoulder and remove all the pins around the pleated area Pleating a sari and tying it isn't a very easy job but if you learn it you'll definitely get it. Tying a sari, draping it is an art so you guys should definitely learn it. I've added all the jewelries and you guys requested for a belt. So I'm adding this belt to snitch the waist even more. <laughs> so I'm done with my saris and outfits so now add those bangles and ta-da done. 
next is the photo shoot so let's go There's a meeting in my Thank you.